What's going on and welcome to the FanDuel. Hurry up, my name is Tom Vecchio. Week three of the NFL is here and I am set to bring you three value plays for this week's Sunday main slate. Starting off, let's go to Saquon Barkley at $6,000. That's for a value play. Saquon, not something we've been able to say too often, but he hasn't quite looked like himself yet. He hasn't put up big performances yet, but that could certainly be coming this week. Going up against the Atlanta Falcons, they're allowing 21.5 FanDuel points per game to opposing running backs. That's the 12th worst in the league. We've seen Saquon play on 67% of the snaps so far this season. He's seen good volume in the rushing game. He has six targets in the passing game through the first two weeks. Yes, not the biggest performances from him, but this matchup against the Falcons, who are just so, so weak on defense, is really setting up to be a good spot and hopefully his breakout performance of this season. Moving on to wide receiver, DJ Chark of the Jacksonville Jaguars comes in at $5,800 this week. He's going up against the Arizona Cardinals. We do see the Cardinals as seven and a half point favorites. This does set up for a positive passing game script for the Jaguars next should benefit DJ Chark specifically in this matchup. Combine that with his 16.31 A dot that's averaged at the target. Him getting down the field is something he's always been able to do. Going up against the Cardinals, they're allowing 36.5 FanDuel points per game to opposing wide receivers. That's the 11th worst in the league. He has an 18% target share so far this season. Obviously, Mar uh, Marvin Jones taking a big portion of that from the Jaguars, but we did see the uh, Cardinals get burned last week deep by some of the Vikings receivers, and that is certainly something DJ Chark can do, especially if they're playing from behind and they have to pass the ball more. So 5,800 for DJ Chark. He's one of my favorite value plays at wide receiver this week. And then moving on, finally, at tight end. David Njoku, $5,000 for the Cleveland Browns. Uh, Jarvis Landry is out. Odo Beckham is expected to play this week, but really the question is how much will he be playing? Will he be able to play 80, 90, 100% of the offensive snaps? That's something we certainly don't know yet. So their receiving core is certainly very thin, and that could elevate David Njoku, who already has a 16.5% uh, market share of targets this year, elevate him just a bit more. He played. He's played on 58% of the snaps so far this season. He's run around on 47% of those passing plays and of course those are modest numbers overall but we have to account for the fact that the first two weeks we did see Jarvis Landry play so this is a uh, good spot for Njoku to take a larger role in the Browns passing offense due to the injuries that they have with Landry and due to the uncertainty that they have with Odo Beckham so five thousand dollars for David Njoku a role that could certainly be expanding moving forward all right, so that does it for this week's value plays here on the FanDuel. Hurry up, my name is Tom Vecchio. I'll be back next week to bring you three more value plays for week four of the NFL season.